in the beginning, it was a real struggle. In 1990, I had to convince businesses that would say, like, I don't see what this internet stuff's going to do for business. Well, that that was an uphill battle to, to get people to, to do a website. Now, it's just the opposite. Uh, the internet has given us a lot of opportunities, opportunities we probably would not have had um, otherwise. Well, the internet has leveled the ground and we're able to connect with people all over the world. We had a uh, production company in LA that saw our product on a website in Australia, connected with it, optioned it for a motion picture. Everyone's doing it. I mean, everyone's online. It's just an easy avenue. Uh, since I am a home-based business, I know I have to get out to events like this and, meet, and people need to see me. Um, but uh, other than wearing crazy jackets like this, you, um, you know, online doing stuff like that, getting people on your website, emailing out for Facebook, that's really another way to get people to see you. I've been in real estate for the last nine years with Remax, and one of the ways we built our business was by driving traffic online using internet leads, and it's amazing how powerful it can be if you tap into the internet. Uh, really, I'm pretty active with my, with the Facebook account, uh, with my Facebook and interacting and statusing and that sort of thing, right? I've made lots of connections with people, and as I see them then when I'm doing other networking events where we see each other person to person, it deep that relationship and then that has been turning into business opportunities. Well actually a gentleman that's supposed to be here today um, I met through uh, LinkedIn and, and various other people but I use it as my Rolodex so I keep all the information that's in there when I've met somebody I put them in there and then I can go back and use them as a research tool. I actually hopped into an investors group on LinkedIn and then just started communicating with people through LinkedIn and then we took it offline. So there's a group in Houston that I'm going to be working with. Another group's in Atlanta and the group from Houston is now sending me people in New York and it's just spreading. On um, Facebook, I put out there, I'm so excited this uh, weekend on Sunday I'm going to be doing a seminar on private lending with your IRA. And I had two calls that afternoon from just putting it on Facebook that morning. So I can, you can see where the social media actually you know, expands your business instantly. People take things offline and talk as well. You know, I love social media because it is one of the greatest ways, if you know what you're doing, to build tons of relatively free traffic. Now, it takes some time to set up uh, things like Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and blogs, but I have to tell you that when you set them up properly and you cross-promote them all, it's an amazing way to do two things. Number one, to drive leads, to really three things, to drive leads, to build a list, and if you have something on the back end that's set up properly, to convert those leads into sales. It's one of the best things we can do. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a matter of somebody taking the time to sit down and do it and, and delegating somebody to do it. But, as a small company, it's not always doable, it's not always easy to do. I would think for them to be really effective, I would need to do it on a regular basis. Uh, so that is definitely with Twitter, I feel that that's something that you probably need to do on an ongoing basis. I'm old school, I'm not a computer person, but I'm learning it's not as hard as I thought it was. And it's not as expensive as they might think it would be also. I'm in my 50s and I know a lot of people as they get older it's harder and our children are there and I have to be honest my daughter set up my Facebook account and she's just turning 20 this month so but once I got in there and I started talking to other people who are in there and ha you know can whiz around it even better than I can it's it's a learning curve but it's a lot of fun Initially, I was a little hesitant because my kids were on there and, um, and they know that it's a business site. But um, I found that it was very marketable. I mean, you could really chat with somebody on the side, you could send people information, you could you know, meet and greet new people that could be potential clients or business relations or referral clients. There are opportunities but in the work that I do, hands-on work, I'm a hands-on healer for people and animals, that there's nothing better than touch and eye to eye. So what I ended up doing, believe it or not, is getting a video program so I can send video messages. So at least now you can hear my voice and you can see me. Um, and plus, I hate to type a whole lot and be glued to the keyboard. 
energetically, so this way I'm more open and free and can get out and work. I have a YouTube account, a very small one at this point, but actually one of my clients found me from my YouTube video. She watched my video, She and she's in Ithaca, New York, she doesn't even live in the state. She found my video and saw what I did, and she called me, and she became my client. So. That's a direct the result of uh, me being online. Many of my clients, when they come to my site, I do have how-to videos on my site. When they come to my site, they watch the videos and they like, they learn so much and they're like, they're so impressed. They call me like, I love your videos. I love your pictures. I love so absolutely. I mean, it's not a direct. I can't quantify it, but I know it totally, totally helps my business and totally gives me um, much more business than I would have otherwise. I can't say enough about internet marketing. Well, a long time ago when I first started in business, about 13, 14 years ago, when the internet really was starting to take phase, you really weren't even a business unless you had a dot-com. Well, today, that's just even the beginning. Everybody can have a website, but you need to have a professional website. You need to have a website that's going to connect you to social media. You need to have a website that's going to connect your clients, your, your, the people you're working with, and really have a full phase. So if you're not in the digital era, you need to get there really soon because otherwise business is going to be passing you by. Yes, it's something that's difficult, but you know what? If you get the right people to help you at the right time, it's really going to be worth all your investment. When I talk to people about social media, they are sometimes hesitant, I think maybe for two reasons that I've noticed. The first one is that they just don't really understand what to do, or maybe they've kind of delved in it and feel like it takes too much time. The reality is, is if you do it right, if you build yourself systems and automation into that process, social media is fantastic. You really need a mentor or a coach or training or hire a company to go and do that for you. Because the reality is you're probably excellent at what you do. You're a technician. You know your business. So hook up with someone who can teach you this uh, social media and how to make it work. Because if you do it right, it is the cutting edge. It's so critical. And the businesses who get on top of this wave and ride it are going to be amazed at the results they can achieve.